Hey everyone, welcome back to my another new video. I hope you all are featured fine. So today I have received this HP Elite Book 840 G5 laptop motherboard and this motherboard is completely dead. So now I will try to fix this motherboard. So let's try to fix it. Okay, uh, this is the laptop motherboard model number 6050A2945601MB. So um, first I will uh, visual inspection on this motherboard under my microscope okay uh, as you can see this capacitor is burn out so first i will measure this capacitor with my multimeter so i set my multimeter in dc mode as you can hear okay it's not beeping but it's showing some value both sides so let's remove this capacitor and then check again it's totally broken as you can see so let's check again okay it's not showing any value right now so let's connect the charger to this motherboard no it's not growing this charging led and it's not taking any ampere so now I will remove this Simos battery and try again. It's same condition. So let's check some evidence the charging side here. There is no sharp. It's not short clear clear three volt is clear five volt also clear so now i will check here this coil is 19 volt is present here this is a current sensing register here we are also clear let's check this pad here as you can see this 19 volt this 19 volt is clear here but we need 13 volt 12 or 13 volt it's not present here so now I will check this 4 MOSFET 1, 2, 3, 4 Let's set my multimeter in this unit again So as you can see this 4 MOSFET is the uh, N channel MOSFET So now I will check one by one all the MOSFET It's okay It's beeping. Get also beeping. As you can hear, this MOSFET. Let's check another. It's not beeping. This also beeping. Okay, first remove this. 
let's turn on my hot air gun. Perfect even. So I will check one by one and then I found this MOSFET is short. Let's check. Okay, as you can see it's completely short. So let's check another one. This one. No, it's not short. It's okay. This also okay. This also okay. So we found only this MOSFET is short ground. So now I will replace MOSFET. So I have already this dual MOSFET. This is too well. Lots of parts here. This is. <coughs> Let's check this one. Okay, it's okay. This single N channel MOSFET. Okay, it's done. So let it be cool down. It's too hot right now. So now I will plug again. Okay, as you can see, this light is blinking and it's turned on. You can see this laptop is turning on. So it's done. Now I will check display. Here it is. Let's connect again. Our LED is glowing also. It's taking enough ampere. So I need to wait for a few seconds to see the HP logo. Okay, we have HP logo, it's done. It's completely done. So we just replace a short MOSFET, internal MOSFET and it's back to live. So thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, so please hit the subscribe button, press the bell icon. 
if you already subscribed my channel thank you so much see you in the next video until then stay well bye bye